Hello fellow engineers and welcome to the pits of hell. Well, we're playing Heretic's Fork. Now we've been tasked with finding an employee to defend hell. So let's go with her, the intern Ruby. And then basically this is like the center of hell. We need to protect this from all the sinners that are attacking us. And we get these cards that give us different towers and things. So to start off there's holy damage, there's unholy damage, and there is a third type as well. You know, these cards that have tower on them are literally towers. So if I, if I take this one and shove it there you can see we now have a minigun in the middle so you can see that's shooting enemies way off in the distance so that is good and in the top left this is where our towers are so that is the sin spotter you can see it does holy damage now uh, we can upgrade this you can see the damage and attack will go up all right so in the meantime at the bottom there's also these other types of cards called garrisons uh, they essentially send out like a little army of people so they're not a tower as such um, but I probably want to get some unholy damage. I think, to be honest, I might just stick with the tower rather than garrisons. So we'll do that. And now, <laughs> now our tower has like little little arms. Oh, they're spinning these maces around. Okay, that's good. Anyway, we'll end our turn and then time speeds back up again. And we get to watch our tower defend itself. In the top left, that is our health. Uh, so we have 500 to start with. We've already lost like 50. Basically, every time someone gets close and this island in the middle vibrates, that's us losing health. So we need to upgrade fast. This video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. You probably already know that Ridge make great wallets, but did you know they also make a range of other products? Like this snapback, which is great for not doing a face reveal while also showing off your drumming skills, but also the Ridge beveled ring set. These rings come in a variety of premium materials that match the wallets. Here I have the Alpine Navy tungsten design. The ring has an outer beveled edge and an inner convex shape for a comfortable no pinch fit. And each ring comes with a dual band silicon ring. Ooh, squishy. For when you want to be more comfortable or casual. Head to ridge.com forward slash engineer and use code engineer for 10% off. That's ridge.com forward slash engineer. Thanks to Ridge for supporting the channel, but let's get back to today's video. Now you can see up the top each card has these little green diamond things that's how that's like the cost of each card bottom left that's how many we can play each turn so we can only play six um and the color of card the the better it is basically so blue one is the best that basically gives us a special power that we can activate at any time but i think for now i'm gonna i'm gonna grab these two i don't really like any of those three so what i can do i can literally just shove them into this thing on here on the left and when we have two of them we can upgrade them and they turn into a green of our choice uh, so what it might be worth doing if i take the guns of god one which is a garrison you can see i don't actually have any tower slots but i can get rid of my my judgment tower because that's the unholy damage so we'll get rid of that and then shove this down and then look this is our little garrison so these little creatures they will come out and help us defend uh, so in the meantime i've got three currency left so do we go with increase the damage by five percent or this rarer card which is the the skill thing yeah let's go for that so you can see up the top now we have this skull so if we end turn, we can click on that at any point, and then we can just lay this down, and it just does, like, damage over time. And meanwhile, check out the little garrisons. So these guys run around. Yeah, they go up to enemies, and they, they shoot them with a bit of purple. All right, so what have we got down here? Increase damage, increase speed, or prayer of duplication. Draw three cards from your deck and choose one to clone. Okay, let's have a go with that. So we'll play that into the middle. So we get to clone one of these. Oh, I should probably go with the sin spotter, because that's the tower that we've already got. That's the minigun thing. So if I clone that, we now have two of them in our deck, which means I should be able to upgrade this fairly quickly. Uh, in the meantime, I think I'll probably merge these two together and then upgrade to see what we get. Oh, look, it's another Guns of God and it's green. So if we take that, we can now play this and you can see the line up there. It means our current Guns of God card will be upgraded. So our garrison units, these little guys here, they're, they are upgraded. They're even better now. If, if you hover over here, you can see the spawn rate is now times four, which essentially means four times the damage. Nice. Uh, we've only got one card remaining, the Sharp Rock. Increase tower damage by 2% and garrison damage by 2%. So yeah, may as well play that because it, it literally costs nothing. So we'll end our turn and then we'll see how our new garrison units get on. I need to remember to keep playing this thing as well. Okay, so there's one of the Sin Spots cards that we cloned last time. So if I play that, you can see that goes up there. That will upgrade it into a greeny. Uh, if I want to upgrade that again, I'm going to need another green one, not just the, the standard tier one grey. So I'll probably grab... Shall I put two sharp rocks in there and then upgrade them? So that gives me a green. And unfortunately, one of them isn't the Sin Spotter Tower. 
But oh, they are quite good. Increasing damage by 10%. Critical hits by 10%. But I think what I'm going to do instead is just take any old one. Because then I can play this over here. And if I combine two greens, we can upgrade them into a bluey. So these are the rarest cards we've come across so far. So draw the next card from your deck and it will be free. Not bad. This one, the Slapper, transforms all rock cards currently in the deck or discard pile to slap cards. So this final one, Hot Potato, draw a card every time you use a rock card. But rock cards will cost one currency. Ooh, but you get a free card. I'll tell you what, that could actually work out. Let's do Hot Potato. And then I can't actually play that because can you see it's got a three above it and we've only got two things. So if I shove it over in this corner, I can literally save that for next time. So we'll end our turn. We'll defend the tower a few times. Look how many of these little guys are flying out, by the way. Minigun just, <laughs> just shooting in circles. I'm sure it knows what it's doing. But yeah, right. Okay, so we've got the, the hot rock cards. We need to actually play the hot potato card first. So let's do that. So boost. There we go. Then we've got the hot rock card. So if we play one of these... Did you see that? We got an extra card down here. Nice. So we'll play another one. There's another card. Oh, it's another rock one as well. So the question is, do I play that and get another card? Or is it worth, since we're not using these two towers, I should probably shove them over here and combine those. Oh, look, we got a Guns of God Garrison card. And remember, that's the ones that we're using at the moment. They're currently blue. So if I take that, yeah, I can't actually play it. So I think I'll leave it down here. I basically need another green one so I can get another blue. And then I can merge that with this one to get the times five multiplier. So I guess let's play the sharp rock to see what we get. Oh, we got a sniper tower. All right, I guess for now we'll end our turn. We'll see how we get on. And I need to play this thing more often. So this, as you can see there, it recovers 1% HP on the death of a cursed enemy. So I, if I shove this in like a big group of enemies like back there, every enemy we kill, look, we're getting more health. We're up to 400 now. Okay, so I need to keep playing that. Yes, we got it. The guns of God. Greedy. So if I shove that over here, we can combine that. I mean, to be honest, I could have done any green one. I've just realized. But still, let's upgrade those. And yes, there it is. The guns of God bluey. So if we take that and then play, can you see there's a purple line going up to there? That will upgrade our garrison to a purple, which if we hover over it is five times the damage. Love to see it. Uh, next up, I should probably upgrade those two together since we can't play them and see oh we didn't really get anything good i was hoping for a sin spotter in green because then we could upgrade that to a bluey uh, i've also only got two currency left so i can't actually play any of these i might just take the 10 percent holy damage because that'll increase our sin spotter damage and then i may as well play the hot rock card because that gives us an extra card do the same play that one and then oh we got a fat rock increases area of damage of all tower projectiles by two percent okay don't really care about that so we'll end our turn and then i hope we keep defending everything okay i mean things are actually going pretty well health is actually going up now i know how to use this thing so i want to shove it on a big pile of enemies so i think we'll go there so that should get loads of enemies yeah they get like a little skull above their head and i think when we kill them that's when we get the hp very nice right so i think since we're not going to use a sniper let's combine those two i'm going to shove that in my hand so i can merge those two yes there's a sin spotter that we needed and then we can upgrade that because we've already got the green sin spotter so that goes up to blue and as you can see there, the damage is times four and the attack speed is times two. So our miniguns are going to be absolutely ripping now. In the meantime, do I play the holy damage or do I just keep going with rocks? I mean, I can actually see what's going to be in my card. There's only rocks in there. So if I play both of them, I will have all my cards, which I guess means all of these go back in. But they're all just rocks. So to be honest, it might be better just playing the holy damage. That is 10% damage increase on our new miniguns. Then maybe I'll shove these two rocks over there so I can combine them. We got more holy damage. So yeah, I'll just keep that there for now. We'll end our turn and then we'll see how we get on. Yes, getting loads of HP for killing those ones. My thing's nearly recharged. There we go. I'm just going to wait because that is the boss. Yes, okay, we've killed the boss. So now we get to add three new cards to our deck. So I think we'll do every other card. So nice, we got another rock. We don't we don't really want rocks. But we got Hellfire damage in green and Unholy damage in green. Nice. I guess we'll take the Hellfire one. And then we get to pick a rune. This is because we killed the boss, remember? So I can double the damage of my garrisons. Could be good. I give myself 20 luck or we can add a tower slot. I think we're definitely going tower slot. So then we can add a third tower to our defense. All right. And in the meantime, I uh, I need to play some of these. Let's go over that way because we're actually losing HP now. Everyone's getting pretty close. 
Oh god, oh god. Right, okay, these two greenies, I'm going to combine them together. Let's get a blue. Let's make it a good one. All right, so we got another dark matter. Will that upgrade my current dark matter? It might do. We can get another garrison, but that does hellfire damage, which I already have. I think I, I want the third type because we're only doing two types of damage at the moment. And the further we go on, we're going to need all those types of damage. And then cat eye increases tower range by 25%. And damage by 15. Ooh. I think I'm going to go with the dark matter and see. Oh, look. We get two times recharge speed. Okay, because we're probably going to rely on that to actually have some decent health. I and mean, in the meantime, as they're just rocks, is it worth playing them? Or do I just merge? I might just merge two of them and see what we get. So upgrade those. Oh, look. There we go. We've got a judgment tower, which gives us unholy damage, which I don't think we have at the moment. Oh, no, we do. I'm an idiot. So I need Hellfire. I need a Hellfire Tower. Well, I guess for now, we'll, we may as well play that. Oh, yeah, that's the Maces one that I had earlier. Fair enough. Um, I'm going to shove a Hot Rock over there just because why not? All right, and then I'm just going to keep remembering to play this Skull thing because that will regen our health, which we're going to need quite massively. Take them down. Take them down. Look at the little crew of people. Okay, nice. Let's combine two Hot Rocks. Boosh. Uh, oh, another Judgment Tower. I could do that. Because if I play that, that will upgrade that one to a blue. So then we've got we got four times damage on the maces. Could be very useful, to be honest. Now then I guess I may as well combine these rocks together to get a green. Oh, look, there's that. There's a Hellfire Tower. There was Hellfire damage in a straight line. Oh, I feel like I probably want that, don't I? Okay, we got that. I'll probably get rid of the Judgment Tower. Do I do it now? Or do I gamble? I could gamble and merge these two into a blue. And maybe it'll be a Hellfire Tower in blue. Yeah, I'm going to gamble. I'm going to gamble. Oh, no, there's no Hellfire. <laughs> oh, no. But there is a Sin Spotter Tower in blue. And our current one is blue, right? So if I take that, we'll be able to upgrade it next time into a purple. But I don't have, I don't have enough currency. So for now, it stays down there. We go on to our next turn. We activate that so we get some stuff. Right, the bats are coming in. The bats pretty much always end my go when I played this in the in the past. Take him out, take him out, take him out. Yes. Okay, we're doing way better than I usually do. And we got to keep that going. Okay, right now. So now we can play the Sin Spotter card. So that upgrades that to eight times damage. So our mini guns are going to be going absolutely mental. Eight times damage. And then in order to get that to times 16, we're going to need two purples. So this is going to be a lot of upgrading. So for now, let's combine those two. So that gives us a greenie. So we'll take that. And then I guess we'll combine these two greenies into a bluey. And then I guess it doesn't really matter what one we play because I'm not planning on playing one of these. So we'll just take it and store it there. Since I've got some currency remaining, I may as well play this, which will give me that card, I guess, because that's the only one in my, in my deck remaining. Yes, yeah, so that's on to zero now. So we'll play that as well. And then look, it's been reshuffled. So we have the chance to get two Judgment Towers if we go through this entire deck again. Uh, so I think for now, I should probably just store that. End our turn. And we'll just keep this going. We got two purples and a bluey. But we're doing no Hellfire damage, which I'm a little bit concerned about. But yeah, I think for now, short term plan, just keep playing this thing. So we get loads and loads of HP back. All right, so I want to try and get another bluey. So I'm going to shove that into my into my hand down here. Then I can just merge all these rocks together so that we get a green. So then I can do the same again. So we merge two of those together to get a green. Then we can merge these two greens like that. So that gives us a blue. Now these are pretty good. Increased damage by 30% and then that one which does 25 and 15% damage and range. But I don't actually want to use these. I think I want to create a purple. So if I just take one of them and then merge it with this, this will give us a purple. So upgrade. What do we... Oh, cheater. Reveal one extra card, max five, before picking a card. Or we could make a sniper tower. Or we could do the holy beam which I think is one of the one of the things up the top. I feel like Cheetah's probably the best thing, right? I don't know. For now, I think we'll leave it there. And then with my remaining currency, we'll just play these hot rocks. Right, there's the judgment that we wanted. So we'll shove that over there, end our turn, and then see how we're getting on. The health is going back up a little bit. Yeah, we're back up to 400 health, so that's good. Hopefully, we can get back up to, like, really good health. Um, but for now, oh, look, there's the other judgment one. So if I grab both of those... 
shove this over that way, then I can upgrade. I'm not sure if having the same type of card means you guarantee to get that one. Hopefully, because that's why I want up here to upgrade to a purple. Yeah, look, there it is. There it is. So it will take the judgment and then we will play it. Boosh. And then we have another purple. Then in the meantime, we've only got one currency. So I think we'll combine those two into whatever that's going to be. So we got that. We'll shove the purple over there so I don't lose it. And then we'll play this one so we get one more fat rock. May as well shove that over there. Then we'll end our turn. And then, oh, we're taking some damage. We took some damage there. Oh, man, they're getting close. There's a lot of enemies on screen right now. There's a lot of enemies on screen. Am I trying to save up for two purples? I think that's what I'm going to do this time. I'm going to merge two purples and see what we get. So if I combine two rocks, we get a green. Then if I combine two greens, we get a blue. Then if I do the same like that, we can upgrade those into a green. Oh, and then I can't. No, no, I've messed that up because I can't get another green, can I? I'll tell you what I might need to I might actually need to play this card, the cheater one. I've got the exact currency to do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's play the cheater card. And then I'll store these two. And then end our turn. Right. Power actually taking damage, although health going up massively. Uh, are they bosses on the right? They might be bosses. Go on, Garrison's. Yes, they're eating that boss. Oh, it's getting so close. It's getting so close. Oh, I think we killed it. I think we killed it. Okay, we're on to the next stage. We get four cards, so... Hellfire Tower and green. Let's do every other again. Sort of worked last time. Okay, two greens. Then for a final one, left or right. I think I'll use the, the classic engineering thing of eeny meeny miny mo. Catch an architect by its toe. If it bites, let it go. Eeny meeny miny mo. Oh, they're both the same. It literally didn't matter. Um, we may as well add a green to our deck. Then we get a rune. Oh, do we go for another tower slot? Or do we double our damage? Like, I don't know if that's 100% of base rate or 100% of what we have. So does it double or does it just add like a small percent? I feel like adding an extra tower is probably the sensible thing to do here. Because then I can get that hellfire damage, which I'm pretty sure I need. But yeah, right. In the meantime, let's just cover everyone in these so we can gain some health. Okay, good. Right, it's end of the turn. Let's, let's get another purple. So we merge those two together, upgrade. And that gives us a bluey. So we got two blues. Do I... Do I merge them into a purple or do I start merging these two? Oh, I don't know because I could actually play this one. This gives us a bomber garrison and it's the hellfire damage as well. And it's blue. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. In our deck, it's literally just rocks. So no point playing these cards. May as well just merge them together. Yeah, I think I'm going to gamble. I'm going to gamble. We're going to merge them into a purple. Come on, good purple. Oh, I mean, it's it's not ideal. It's not ideal. We could go with a sniper. That's more holy damage. Probably better than the other things. Yeah, okay. We've got that. Before I play it, I may as well just merge these and see what we get. So we've got a green. Oh, I can't actually afford to play the sniper. Oh, that was stupid. That was stupid. Do I just play the sin spotter? Or do I just leave it there? I think I might just leave it there. Because I'm better off getting a blue next time. Yeah, let's end our turn and hope we, we survive this round. Because enemies coming in thick and fast. i got to try and get some HP back. Oh, there's a big group of enemies on the left. Let's uh, let's make them all walk through that. That is going to be some fat hit points. Oh, man, they got some health. They actually have some health. All right, so in the meantime, let's start merging all these rocks together. So two rocks, that gives us a green. And then two greens, that gives us a blue. Then I think we merge those two. I'm just going to play this sniper one, I think. I mean, it's a purple. It'd be silly not to. So if we look down here, we now have another tower. So if we end our turn, can you see these guys here? They come out. There's loads of people in there, all with their snipers. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Oh, look at our health. No. Oh, that was the end. That was the end. The sniper did not help us in the slightest. Yeah, you can see our damage distribution. We had no hellfire damage. I think we're probably at the point where we had to like split them up. Look at my old high scores though. I absolutely smashed it that time. But yeah, very fun little tower defense deck building game. And it's always good popping into hell and seeing how my old architect colleagues are doing. But yeah, for now I'll say peace, love and heretics fork. Bye guys.